Hey guys, I thought I would give you an update on my two and a half gallon micro tank that I keep by my bedside because why not? So up here I've got my neon yellow shrimp body. Now I've got two of these girls in here and they've been doing fine. I thought they'd be fun to have a multicolor shrimp tank and just let them breed for the heck of it. You know, without any particular purpose. And over here it's one of my pumpkin orange. Look at that. Oh my gosh. He's got so much color. All the boys have color. Look at them. They really are orange. I wish I had these guys more orange around uh, Halloween. That would have been perfect. Yeah, so I need to get more pumpkin orange because I got all males. I have no females. So that's why I put them in here. I've got a few downstairs in what was supposed to be my pumpkin orange breeding tank, but I decided, eh, I'll bring them up here. Now, here's the thing, though. they, For the longest time, they were kind of transparent, and they didn't really have any color to them. Well, earlier today, I put in a Nom Nom, a little uh, high-calcium veggie pellet, for the first time in mm, probably a few months, because these shrimp do just fine. Just eating biofilm and algae and stuff, whatever is growing naturally, and that feeds them. And then, sure enough, I came in later, and holy cow, look at them. They're so colorful. Wow. It's really coming together. And then I got a few Dream Blues. Look at Dream Blue over here. Is she a mama? She may have been the mama Dream Blue in this tank. Actually, it's getting closer to topaz, but, you know, grades on certain colors are kind of a finicky thing. Now, there are baby shrimp in here somewhere. I've seen a few of them, but, uh, you know, they're super tiny. I didn't actually expect them to breed in this tank at all. This was kind of just a tank for them to have, well, for me to have fun and watch. In case I can't go to sleep, you know, it's always fun having shrimpy buddies. But, uh, holy cow, they've been breeding in here. Their colors have been getting better. I'm glad I have this little micro tank, and I'm glad I have a bunch of num nums. Now, you might be wondering who this guy is. This big old cone snail. He is not a rabbit snail. He is a black devil spike snail. He is a brackish water breeding snail, but lives and thrives in freshwater. That is Dante, my black devil spike. I thought that was a good name for him. Named him after Dante's Inferno. Figured, eh, black devil spike, Dante's Inferno? Sounds like a good idea. If you can't have fun with your pet fish names, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> like, if you have a catfish and you don't call it Kitty the Catfish, then I don't know what to tell you. But, uh, yeah. So colorful. And soon, I'm getting Bloody Mary Red Cherry Shrimp, which is the highest grade red cherry, I believe. Got them coming in in just a few days. And uh, once they breed and have a bunch of babies, I'm going to put some in here and I'll have four colors. I'll have yellow, blue, and orange. And whatever offspring they have, which will probably be wild type, as that tends to be the case. Or maybe I'll get brown or shoko. Sometimes that happens, from what I've heard. I've never purposely mixed two different colors before to see what happens, because I just never bothered to try. I always liked having tanks with the individual colors. But this is my, you know, anything goes tank. It's just kind of... All for fun. A lot of all my tanks downstairs are breeding for profit, but these are these guys are just here for fun. And they're such good little companions. I love having them by my bedside. Two and a half gallon is just the right size for a few shrimp. So, all in all, pretty good.